Today's Gospel, Tuesday, January 10, is taken from St. Mark chapter 1, verses 21 to 28. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet! Come out of him! The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, what is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faith food reflection is from Brother Olet Perez, Divine Authority. Jesus was at the height of his public ministry. The Pharisees and scribes taught their stuff in the way that they knew how. Traditional, old style, and typically with slant toward their personal biases. On the other hand, Jesus teaches with divine authority. He speaks the truth. There are no lies, no deception, and no errors. In his word, Jesus' divine authority is further displayed in the second part of the gospel story, the cure of a demoniac. The unclean spirit was powerless and speechless as Jesus rebuked and commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the poor man. This is further proof of his divine authority. Jesus' divine authority brought people blessings, health, and healing. It was an irresistible power that drew people not by manipulation or lies or deception, but by love, hope, and truth. As anointed servants of God, we must show the world that we are true and faithful to the position given to us in the Great Commission that of being Jesus' witnesses to his divine authority. Let us all walk the talk. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, clothe us with your divine authority as we strive to proclaim your word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.